Okay, uh, so today we're going to prove uh, the classification theorem of compact surfaces. Uh, now, so what is this about? So what is classification? So the analogy here is finite dimensional vector spaces. So first, recall that um, a vector space is any construction um, where elements called vectors can be added together. So like if we have two vectors, say, um, say x and y, that then we can add them together. So there will be a vector x plus y. And, and we can also multiply vectors by, by numbers. So given a vector x, we can multiply it by a number, I don't know, minus 30, 3.4, for example. So this would be a vector space. Now, um, among all vector spaces, so there is this just like, It's that there are too many of them. It's too vast, right? So uh, we can only classify finite dimensional vector spaces. Right? So we define the dimension of a vector space, and if it turns out to be finite, then we can classify vector spaces up to isomorphism. So recall that in linear algebra two, you learned what um, what it means for two vector spaces, say v one and v two, to be isomorphic, uh, and once we have established the, the rules of the game so that we are working with vector spaces and we are classifying them up to isomorphism and only finite dimensional vector spaces, um, we were able to prove a theorem that um, every vector space V is uh, isomorphic to the space Rn, where n is the dimension of V, right? So this is the classification theorem of um, for vector spaces that that you learned in linear algebra two. Now, um, so an analogy for surfaces would be something like this. So first, list of surfaces. So up to um, homeomorphism, right? So notice that the, the, the notation in uh, linear algebra means isomorphism. In topology, means homeomorphism. So list of surfaces. Then for an arbitrary surface, um, we need some kind of algorithm to determine which element on the list. So the, the, this unknown surface S is homeomorphic to. And we need to prove that different items on the list are not homeomorphic to each other. To each other right? So today, we will be able to do one and two. So number three is going to be in lecture four. Um, 